Hi, in this video we are going to check the Android 4.3 update for Galaxy S4. I've just got an OTA for this and updated the phone. Let's just check the device. You can see that it's Android 4.3. So that's available. Now let's see what else has come new for this. In the settings there is not much of a change. Still the same old look and feel. The few changes which is there in the display mode, you have the reading mode available which is from Note 3. Here uh, you can select few apps by clicking on this icon. So by clicking on this icon you can select which apps you want this reading mode to be available. And as soon as you say done, you will see all those apps here. These apps will, whenever you open these apps, your screen tone will be adjusted and the brightness will be adjusted which will be pleasant to your eyes and it will not create much of a stress. You have the adept display also in here now. So you have the adept display, you have the, all the other modes but you can say adept display and it will actually adjust according to the uh, application. You have the daydream and other things. The next thing is increased turn sensitivity which is available now. Um, so you can control the device while wearing gloves. On the sound side, um, not much of a difference again. You have the adept sound available. The rest all is almost similar. You have the safety assistant, hands free mode, power saver, these are all available earlier. Gestures and other stuff is also similar. <coughs> So you can see that setting wise not much of a change. Now let's see what all applications has been changed with um, this Android 4.3 update. The first thing which has been changed is group play. This is the latest edition of the group play which is in sync with Galaxy Note 3. So earlier users have complained of not able to sync uh, music between Galaxy S4 and Galaxy Note 3. Now it's not an issue. I've just synced uh, music between my Galaxy Note 3 and a Galaxy S4 and it works perfectly. You can even sync videos because if you create a group here right now, like I will say create a group, I am not going to sync anything but just to show you out what all options you are going to get here. You have the play games, you have the share videos. This share video is the latest thing which is where you can actually combine few of the phones and make them a as a single screen by sharing the video contents. The next thing which is available with this is uh, your internet browser that has been now become a full window rather than the um, like earlier you used to have the status bar and other stuff down here and bottom but now if you see you are the browser is opening in the full window and you can actually browse through easily. It's still same kind of functionality, it's very smooth, um, running and everything is easy. You can see that out all those things are happening. It, even the functional functions like swapping over the air and other stuff is working fine. The another good thing in this is this window manager. But look wise it looks cool. Uh, it just flaps out and you will get all your open windows here and you can just tap on any of the window to reflow the, reflow the content on here. So that's one of the things. The other thing which is available is Nox which has come out with Android 4.3 to Galaxy S4. This is actually a good application which can actually create a custom desktop or a private space on your mobile if you use it for corporate and other stuff. You have to install it first and then you can create your password and account and it will actually create a virtual mobile inside uh, your mobile where your corporate accounts and corporate data will be saved. I'm not going to go through with the whole setup but this is available with Android 4.3 now. Other than these the main updates are this is actually compliant to uh, Galaxy Gear. So now you can actually use the Galaxy Gear watch along with the Galaxy S4 with this update. It's not the complete uh, update which you would expect after Note 3 because it is still missing the 
if you see I am swiping it from down to bottom and I am not getting anything so it's still missing the magazine feature which is available in the Note 3 it is still missing the S Note which is specifically for the Note series devices you have the S Memo and the whole uh, S Pen features like the Action Memo and Screen Scrapper and other stuffs are still missing even the scrapbook has not been come to Galaxy S4 so uh, these features are still missing out of the Galaxy S4 Android 4.3 update I'm going to still keep exploring the Galaxy S4 um, and 4.3 update and will post more videos so if you want to know more about this update uh, subscribe to Make Web World YouTube channel and keep watching more videos thank you